On January 13, 2015, 141 dogs were removed from a facility in Milk River. Earlier that year, 60 more had been voluntarily surrendered, making for a total of 201 dogs. The SPCA had taken control of these dogs due to the conditions in which they lived having been deemed unfit. This was the largest seizure of dogs in Alberta to date. This action garnered local and international news, but eventually the coverage faded away and the general population forgot all about the 201 Milk River dogs. But there's more to this story. My name is Josiah Albers, and I'm going to be one of the main people working on the Milk River Dogs project. I believe that there's a valuable story to tell here, and I can't think of a better way to tell it than through film. I myself have been making films since I was very young, but recently I've taken my filmmaking to the next level, and even took second in an Alberta-wide contest which awarded me $1,500. In this story, I want to capture what happens after the media leaves and 201 scared dogs turn the page on the rest of their life. I want to find the families who cared enough to adopt these dogs, find out what motivated them, and what challenges arose from rehabilitating them. And we've already begun the interviews. This is Norman. He's an Irish wolfhound and one of the Milk River dogs. When Norman was seized, he was only 77 pounds and in terrible condition. The Lee family took him in a few weeks after the seizure, and now Norman is 130 pounds. When they got him at Classic, they had to shave him right down, like right down, shorter than what he is right now. Because uh, his tail was matted to his back end, and probably his, I would imagine his ears were probably matted right to his, to his body. He's, like I've seen him with his long hair since we've had him and it tangles up pretty easily so if that's not taken care of it's I can I can just imagine how badly mounted he really was. There are many other dogs and families with stories to tell like Norman's. We want to interview the everyday people who pitched in to help bring the Milk River dogs back to a healthy state. This is a story of community and people banding together to help. Because it's about community we want to bring them back together to a Milk River reunion where we'll see the story of transformation firsthand we will have an opportunity to meet the dogs and their owners face to face as we celebrate the hard work and dedication it took to restore these dogs to a normal life. So come journey with us. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and support us through our Kickstarter campaign. Together, let's make the Milk River Dogs film and reunion a reality.